going on guys ignore the red light in my eyes it's from my phone camera and I've got the flash turned on so you can see me better so I look a little weird I'm gonna try to make this quick first off we got the new automatic about a little over a month ago I want to do an update on it we have gotten used to it now we've drove it for over a month now and it runs great I like it way better than the uh, manual we had I know a lot of you hate automatics just because everybody else hates them and so did I but once I got it and drove it it's actually way better than the old truck we had the cruise control is a little weird like the, the truck is governed at 65 miles an hour but if you turn the cruise control on you can set the cruise control to make the truck go 68 miles an hour it's a little tip for you new guys just getting your automatics and also the jake brake if you run in cruise control and you turn the jake brake on it'll turn your cruise control off to fix this it's the truck is supposed to do this when you start going down a hill when your cruise control is on if you turn the jake brake on then immediately uh, hit accelerate or decelerate to set your cruise control to whatever speed you want the truck will stay at that speed the jake brake will hold you at whatever speed you set the cruise control at all right got a little list here I'm gonna read off of I've been noticing one guy in my videos he's been trolling a lot of my videos and he keeps saying don't listen to this noob and a bunch of other comments like that calling me a noob doesn't bother me it's fine with me I have over four years of driving experience in the trucking industry so I don't know what you consider experienced but it doesn't really bother me either way the reason I bring it up is because I'm not giving people driving advice. I'm giving them a review on CRST. I am reviewing this company. That is what my videos are about. So feel free to call me a noob or whatever, but I've been with this company on January 29th for one year. So I think I'm pretty qualified to give a review of my experience with this company from day one to now. Up until this point, I have not had a snag or any problems with this company. They have been great up until this point and it's not really the company itself my driver manager kind of pissed me off last week he went on vacation and they had a weekend guy come in to take over for him and the weekend guy told me I needed to go get a new medical card which my medical card didn't expire for another month but I went ahead and went and got a new one when my driver manager came back he noticed that my new medical card didn't match my motor vehicle report my MVR they had on file for me and I guess safety sent him a message and told him that my license were suspended for not self-certifying and uh, I called the DMV they told me my license were not ex not suspended so I called him back and told him they wasn't suspended that they didn't know what he was talking about and he started getting bitchy and sniping at me and really pissed me off and I was about to go off on him but in the end I had to go over his head I called his boss because he wasted my entire day trying to prove that my license were suspended and it cost me a cost me and McKenzie both about six hundred fifty dollars so just sitting there the whole day because I couldn't drive so it really pissed me off but the company itself had a hold on me because they're re the MVR, the motor vehicle report they had on me, didn't have my updated medical card on it. So the company had a hold on me, but my license were not suspended, and my driver manager, it was a big story. I'm not gonna get into deep details because I don't wanna make this video super long. I don't know how long my phone can record for. But anyways, my driver manager himself pissed me off. It wasn't the company, but we got it settled and handled. All right. Uh, I bet, oh yeah, emails. A lot of you guys, I have got a crap ton of emails from a lot of you guys that I didn't even know I had. They've been going to my spam mail for some reason. I guess YouTube sent them to my spam mail, I don't know. But I just, I never opened my spam mail and I just now opened it to clean it out and I saw all your emails. So I've got like thousands of emails from you guys. Sorry that I didn't get to them. I will answer the ones that are not from months ago and try to help you out as best I can. I 
I'm sorry about not opening the ones that have been there for a long time. I didn't know I had it. I'm sorry. But I've changed it. You can now email me and it will come to my inbox and I will get them immediately. But in the emails, there's been a lot of questions about money. And as you know from my previous videos, I'm not going to tell you how much I made, but I will tell you my total net gross for uh, 2016. Now, I only worked, I didn't work the entire year for 2016 with CRST. I was there, I started in February, basically February the 1st was my first day, so I'm missing an entire month off of that check or off of my gross pay for 2016, and it was net pay, not gross. My net pay for 2016, missing one month, was right at $36,000. That's a lot of money for your first year. Coming in as a new driver, it is a lot of money for your first year, and that's missing one month. Now, other companies, you can make more money with other companies, with experience and with your own truck. If you're an owner operator or a lease purchase operator, don't get on here and start complaining, oh, we make a shit ton more. Of course you do, you're an owner operator. This is for company drivers. Okay. Now, other companies, I wanna throw this out there. Other companies will start you out. Almost all of the other companies will start you out at 25 cents an hour or a mile. CRST does too. The difference is, and why I picked CRST is because the other companies don't give raises. They do, but their time frames are astronomical compared to CRSTs. With CRST, you get a raise every three months. So you start driving, and within three months, you're gonna get your first raise. Three more months, you get a second raise. At your year, you get your, a, big, a big raise at a year. The other companies, they start you out at 25 cents. You don't get a raise for the entire year. Some of them, two years. Other companies do give you driving bonuses and safety bonuses, but it doesn't add up to what you'll make by getting paid more by the mile. That's why I picked CRST, and a lot of you have asked me why I chose this company and not other companies. That's why. Because, yeah, you do start out the same as other companies, but you get raises a lot faster. You can climb that ladder a lot faster with CRST. All right. Uh, so where I'm at. I had a question from Michael Rouse. Ross, Rouse, I hope I said that right. You was asking about the schooling. You and your wife wanted to go to school together and you was wanting to know if they split you up. During the schooling, you might like actual training when you end the truck with an instructor they might send you with one group and her with another group to drive the trucks throughout the day but at night y'all can they won't keep you in the same dorm room but you can get a hotel room across the road and it's actually closer to the school than the dorm rooms are you the, the way me and mckenzie did it we got the hotel and at the end of our training i gave them the receipts to my i gave the receipts to my recruiter and she actually reimbursed me so they won't split you up if you get your own room. But during the actual training parts, when you're in school or in class, you might have to go to a different class and she goes to a different class. Hopefully if y'all are married, you're mature enough in your relationship that that's not a big deal. But no, you won't have to sleep separate or anything like that. And after school, you can do whatever you want to. There is, it's not really like high school. I mean, think of it as college, really. You can, there's no, not really any rules there. Just don't be an idiot. Alright, uh, winter training. Somebody asked about winter training. I'm not really sure what you was asking because you literally just wrote what about winter training, so I don't know what you're asking. Other than, like, when I was in school, it was a slap dab middle of winter time, and they trained us every day. We even took our DOT test. In, well, when I took my road test for DOT to get my actual license, it was nothing but ice. I was in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. And it was just nothing but ice and snow everywhere. So you're gonna learn how to drive in the snow. Plus, I don't if you're starting, it just depends on whenever you start, you're gonna drive in the snow. I mean, they do train you on how to put your tire chains on, stuff like that, and give you advice and tips on how to handle yourself in the snow. But other than that, it's really a hands-on experience with your lead driver. If you're lucky enough to get a lead driver during the winter time. If you get a lead driver during the summertime, you get your own truck before winter starts, 
I do know that you have to drive for at least two winter seasons before you can become a lead driver. So if you was looking to further your career with this company, you would have to drive for at least two winters before you could become a lead driver. The best time to do it is get your license, get on a lead driver truck during the beginning of winter, which is what I did. And when you get done, you should be in a second part of your uh, winter training when you're finished with your contract and things like that, and you can move on. But I know six months at six months, you become a lead driver if you have the training done. If you have any, if I don't, I don't really know what you was asking, but leave another comment or send me an email if I didn't cover what you was asking, and I'll try to answer it better for you. I wanted to talk about GPS units. I've used three or four. I've, I've used pretty much all the GPS units you can buy for a truck. And hands down, without a doubt, the best one is the Rand McNally 7-inch GPS, not the tablet. I've got the tablet itself, too. The tablet GPS sucks. It costs $599, and, or $599, and it's the one. I wish I wouldn't have bought it. But I do got the one before it and the Rand McNally that came before it and it's a lot better. So if y'all are in the market for GPS and want to know which one to use, that's the one I prefer, the Rand McNally 7-inch GPS, truck GPS. All right, uh, let's see here. All right, I want to address the bad reviews and I've seen, I've seen comments on some of my videos talking about, oh, there's more bad reviews than there are good. This is the only guy that's putting good reviews out. And that is, that's true. There is a lot of bad reviews on this company. But this is why. Well, this is my opinion why. I'm not going to say it's for a fact. But I can't tell you for a fact that the company is not horrible like the other videos say because I've been here for a year and I've had one bad experience with a driver manager that I just told you about. But CRST train, they have schools. They got six or seven schools. They train thousands, and I'm not exaggerating. They, they train thousands of new drivers every week. So out of those thousands of people every week, you're gonna have people get mad. That's too many people to not get mad. It's basically, a, I mean, you're gonna have bad apples in every group. I mean, you're looking at tens, 20,000 people a month. That's a shit ton of people, guys. You're gonna have people get mad. People are gonna get fired because some people come here and expect them to just give them the keys to the truck and let them go. No, you're driving a $100,000 vehicle, pulling millions of dollars worth of freight. They're not gonna just give the keys to any old idiot. Anybody can apply and go to the school and you will get sorted out. I mean, if you're not cut out for this job, you're gonna get fired. You're gonna get sent home. That pisses a lot of people off. And they, they make bad reviews. That's the gist of it. People who didn't work out make bad reviews. That's my opinion. I believe that's true. That's all I can say about that. Uh, that's about it. I know I'm doing my one year review video. I will be with the company for one year on January 29th. will be my one year video. And we haven't decided if we're going lease purchase or not. If we do, we'll, I'll let you know in that video. So January 29th, within that time frame, I'll be doing a one-year video. Another thing I want to mention that is uh, me and McKenzie actually just bought a new vehicle. We bought our personal car. And CRST actually gave me an advance for my down payment on that vehicle. I sent them a message, asked them, told them how much I needed, and told them I was going to go buy me a new vehicle. They sent me the money. It, like I had it instantly. It was no wait time. I sent him a message. He got it approved. Sent it back to me. Within 30 minutes, I had a down payment for a new vehicle. So I don't know any other company that's going to do that for your employees. Other companies might give advances. I'm not sure, but I'm sure they don't give as much as I got on that. Because I missed a down payment on a car, a personal vehicle. They gave it to me in advance. So I, I just want to throw that out there for you guys. To let you know that I mean, this company's not going to screw you if you, not on purpose, anyways. I mean, you're going to have a good relationship with them as long as you treat them good, they'll treat you good. 
Uh, well, yeah, that's about it, guys. So hit that like button, subscribe. If you got comments, leave them in the comment section. Or send me an email now that it comes to my inbox. I'm out.